Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, a simple strawberry dessert from my friend Jaden, who has the cookbook, Steamy Kitchen, and also the blog website called Steamy Kitchen as well. She also has a new thing called the Food Blog Forum for uh, aspiring food bloggers to kind of learn how to be food bloggers. So I thought that was really cool. Anyway, this is Henry, this is Charlie. We're gonna make something that even I can cook, all right? Do you guys like strawberries and caramel? Probably not, so we shouldn't feed them that. Here we go. I don't really, really. All right, before I get bit. Let's play. So what is this, you're all organized? Yeah, look, I'm like the Food Network today. Well, it's, it's Jaden's recipe, so I really can't screw it up, you know? Um, by the way, this is her book, Steamy Kitchen, and she wrote in here a nice little, uh, Happy cooking to you. I love that I get to see you. One of my fave food peeps every time I come to New York City. You are my fave food peeps too. Yeah, how's that? Pretty cool. Steamy kitchen cookbook. Nice. The photographs are awesome. Really, right? yeah. She's. I think she's her own photographer, right? She does all the photography. Really good And she work. talks about that in the food blog forum, by the way. How to like photo tips and stuff, so. So the best thing about making this is that you get to eat caramel. I just like the sound of unwrapping it. Mm. If I could unwrap this now. I thought this was supposed to be a speed show. It was a speed show. Okay. Wait, you eat. Take caramel. Talk while you have food in your mouth. He does this on the phone too. Don't call him. <laughs> Take some caramel squares. You can make your own caramel, but this is a lot easier. And about. A quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Now why does it have to be sea salt and not regular salt? I think it tastes better and so is Jaden. And then about a tablespoon and a half of whipping cream. Whipping cream. <laughs> we put this in the microwave. Put this in here at 50% power for one minute. Well, I'm still eating the, the caramel. We see that. <laughs> of course Jaden had her act together and went and got some bamboo scores. And we were walking dogs this morning, and I was like, I don't think we have any of those little bamboo squirt things. I thought maybe we would take sticks and sharpen them or something. Toothpicks. Or toothpicks. But it ends up in the caramel bag. They give you these little popsicle kind of sticks. I guess these are made for like Dunkin' apples, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to use, these are kind of oversized for strawberries, but this is what we're going to use. But safety first, look how tall they are. Yeah. <laughs> At your one minute mark, take this out. Oh, hi. Well, that really hasn't done much yet. Okay. I'm going to do it at full, full tilt. tilt for one minute. Depends on your microwave as to how hot you should do this. Start at 50%. Okay, that's better. So then we take this, give this a mix, put that back in for another minute, okay? Try it at 50% first to make sure you don't have, a, have a bad thing in there. Yeah, that's a little over ready. Okay. Is it bubbling? Yeah, it's kind of like a cauldron there. That was a little much. By the way, uh, Jaden suggests that you, uh, to perk up these leaves, you soak your strawberries in ice water for five minutes. We didn't have any ice water. We didn't have any ice water? Well, we live in the middle of nowhere and I don't make ice, so. But we, <laughs> what we do have are some walnuts. That's you can, uh, you can <laughs> use almonds, maybe even pistachios but you want to chop them up. I like to buy, you know, parts and then chop them smaller because I think the chopped bag is kind of a waste of money. So, but this is called a mezzaluna and I really like using this thing. And that was not a waste of money. You can, you can crush like basil leaves or parsley leaves, anything that needs to be chopped fine. I mean, this is, you know, I love this thing. So you put this in. This, it's in there. Oh. oh. <laughs> that one didn't look so good. You just drown that one. I'm just burning my hands now. Mm. Too bad we 
didn't have any ice to help that. Yeah, caramel's hot. <laughs> All right, now clearly you're gonna do a much nicer job than I did. Um, the leaves are gonna look nice and you're gonna use bamboo scores instead of these big popsicle sticks. <laughs> but it's time for our taste test. Don't feed this to your pups. Um, oh, that's really good. Okay, surprise. No, because I'm not a big strawberry fan, but... <laughs> but he's a big caramel fan. I am now. <laughs> All right, there you go. Super easy, super simple. Thanks, Jaden. Uh, this recipe originally came from a Southern Living cookbook, and she references that, and we will link to that as well. We're going to link to her site. We're going to show you the recipe. And the salt, you can really taste the sea salt. That really kind of makes it that that tangy, salty, sweety thing. Decadent. It's really good. We might have to have another one of these. It took like five minutes. It's really simple to make, really simple. That one's not so pretty. <laughs> I'm not too pretty either, so. <laughs> Jaden, he garden forked the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, come to our site. Eat these. Gardenfork.tv. We also have an audio podcast. You want to listen to us on Garden Fork Radio? It's me and Mike talking about stuff. A ton more videos on the site. Visit Jaden's site steamykitchen.com and make it a great day. And make right? a food blog. Make your own food blog. You can do it. I can do it. All right. See you later. Make it a good day.